All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create title slides or use templates to put them in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I already had this done from a previous video, so if you don't have it, don't worry. That's not the important thing. All right, so let's say we want our title slide to come in right here at this spot. Um, right now, I only have three tracks. That's a problem, right? I need I need another one to go up there. So what I can do is I can go to Sequence, Add Tracks, and there I could add audio tracks or video tracks. Um, I just need the one video track, so I'm going to hit OK. And it puts another one on top of it. So I got my loop, my guy, my crazy guy, and now I have video four. And so to make the title slide, though, you go to File, New, Title, or F9, if you're a shortcut person. And what it shows right here is this is where my timeline left off, so that shows its background. Otherwise, it would just be black. And you can make your own titles. Uh, if you used Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, this is very similar. But let's say I say something like headline news or whatever. All right, you can choose different fonts or whatever. Um, but you can just also make your own, or like I can change this one. Here's all the options on the right side. Um, so you can change the size of it and for example the fill color it's white right now but maybe I'd want to pick like maybe like a lightish blue color um, and you can also have a stroke to it a stroke is an outside color so I could probably do like an outer stroke you could add it and maybe on the outer stroke I would use white I'm not saying you have to do all this I just want to show it to you and you could change the thickness like the size of the outer stroke so it's bigger like that um, you know, whatever you may want, though, and it's kind of plain. You could have see you have these options over here. If you, if you want to use the pen tool, go ahead. Uh, if you've taken graphic design, you know how to use that. Uh, otherwise, you can use the rectangle tool or whatever else, and you could draw things. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, you could draw that in, and then like right click and do arrange, and you could do send to back, so it's in front of it. Um, this is really ugly, um, so we're not going to use that. Uh, don't use that either. Instead, you can also just click up here at Templates, and you can go to um, Title Designer Presets, and they have a whole bunch of here. So we're going to look at Lower Thirds, and if you just click through these, you can see they already have things that are kind of made up for you. And you could go and find the one that works for you. Go ahead and choose whatever you'd like. I kind of like this one. Um, so I'm going to go to apply and right there it actually like it already has the text in there so like you can just double click on the text and change it so like I could put in there headline and I could do enter news and then like this other one over here maybe I'd put the person's title you know with uh, Mark Smith or whatever okay and and then it's pretty much done and I mean you can go in there and like if you don't like something about it, you can change it. Um, it's got this color stuff over here, and you could actually like change those things. I, I don't know if you'd really want to. Maybe you want to go pink or something. That's fun. It's got some pinkish in color in there. It's whatever you want to use. Okay. This is a four gradient color. You could also go to solid, and it would just make it solid. Um, or like for example, like the if you don't like the text, you know, you can choose different text down here or manually edit it up here. It it kind of depends what you want. All right. Um, just make sure it's readable and that's the most important thing okay if I hit X it's gonna say oh would you like to save changes well, well of course I would they don't actually have a save button anywhere I've looked okay you can also do control shift s and I'll do a save as and that works as well otherwise just close it and say do you want to save it and say yes I of course I want to save it it doesn't really matter what you title it alright you know what it is hit save it says and then hit yes if that comes up and if we look at my project um, files here it has untitled part one or it's uh, what it is is title slide though and when I bring this down there it might be small might be large whatever it may be and you can stretch the distance of it here so it's just like a picture basically you put it in there and if you want to fade it in and all this other stuff you can so I, I would I would probably do a dissolve cross dissolve or dip from black or whatever it may be and maybe I'd have this go for most of the most of the Pod, uh, broadcast or whatever it may be so if I watch this from the beginning um, you should see these two things and then this and this and you'll see it so watch and you can see how that runs out and then it ends like this well that's it for today thanks for watching
See, the, the preview's not very good on this, by the way. Like, it tries keeping up with it, but it doesn't always do the best job. So, um, another thing you can do is you can right-click on this and do quality. You can set it to draft quality, and that way it will it'll keep up the computer a little bit better. So when you're watching it, and even still, it doesn't always do the best job. Just sliding your mouse left and right here really shows probably better what it looks like, it's just that you don't get the sound, unfortunately. Um, that's it about for title slides. You can put as many in as you want. Um, some people use them to like black things out. So, for example, if I do, um, if I do, sorry, file new title, and let's say I just need to like blur something out even, or like let's say I wanted to cover up a, a rude gesture or something, <laughs> I could you know blank blink something out like this, and I could you know even change the opacity of it and stuff like that. So like right now it's filled. And you can actually change the opacity of it, so it can be like part shown through, whatever it may be. Okay, um, and you can again, they have all these other ones like you know gradients or whatnot. But when I close that again, it's going to say, "Do you want to save?" And you say yes and save and blah blah blah. But uh, I can drag that, you know, and it'll it'll show in that spot then if I if I wanted to. So it can be used for more than just titles. It can just be for objects that you may need here or there, you know. Maybe you need to blank out his face, whatever, okay? One last thing I want to show you is, you know I was saying, like, it's coming in kind of rough here at the end, like, it's kind of hard to see what things are happening. You'll notice that here it's, it's red. And what that means is, and by the way, press on it right now while you listen to this. What this is doing is, is the stuff in red isn't rendered. And that just basically means that um, it's got to actually create each frame because there's effects in it. It's not just video, it's layered video with green screen things out and transitions and title slides and whatever else. So right now it's rendering frames, meaning creating frames to, to just preview it. And when it's done, I'm not going to wait for it, when it is done though, I'm going to cancel it instead, it'll, it'll show what it would look like smoothly. So if you just watch this in the corner, I'm going to turn it down some. Oop, not cancel here. Hit. By the way, you can hit space bar to start and stop things. But you can see everything's smooth, like everything comes in smooth, so does that. So if you want to see what it's going to look like when it's done, render it. And then when you export it, that's what you end up doing is you render it out into a file. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned something about title slides and whatever else. Uh, have a great one.